Hello, hello. Um, this is going to be my very first unboxing ever. Um, I wanted to show all interested parties um, my... Excuse the cat, sorry. My um, Yu-Gi-Oh! J-Stars collectible figure. Um, he was actually pretty hard to find. He is only sold in Japan, obviously. Um, I think originally he was used as a prize, um, and then they eventually released him in a blind box set with the other characters you see. Um, my camera will not focus. Uh, it looks like we've got Rilma from Prince of Tennis in there, Krillin, um... I can't read the rest of it because my camera won't focus. Um, anyway, but let's get this guy opened up and see what he looks like. Um, I'm actually just going to jump cut, I think. So we'll get him out of the box. And we're back. Um, so I have undone the tape here and I'm pretty much just going to attempt to uh, open this one-handed. <laughs> so... We'll see how that works out, actually. So far, it's not working out well. Okay, there we go. And here he is in all his glory. Woot! Um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do another jump cut real quick and get through the plastic. And then um, we will set him up. All right, and uh, we are we got him out of the plastic, and we're just gonna kind of look at his setup here. Um, obviously, it looks like a pretty simple setup. Um, uh, there's the peg for the little plastic thing that goes in here, and then I believe his legs go in those other two pegs. Um, I'm just gonna jump right into the figure detail. Uh, it really sucks that my camera isn't picking it up at close range. Um, the detail on him is amazing. Um, you definitely can't see it, but on the back of the cards underneath, um, they're actually painted. Uh, so like, oh man, I wish my camera would zoom in without losing focus, but uh, the Wing Karibo is the first card I saw under there. Um, and on this one, uh, the Dark Magician isn't, uh, as, as clearly, uh, painted as the Wing Karibo, but, uh, you can definitely make out the paint. Um, I will put pictures or something because that's just way too much to, um, miss. Um, it really sucks that my camera is just not, oh, wait, maybe I can get it to... Focus a little, maybe. There, oh, we had it. Come on, camera. There we go. Well, it's Rick rolling me. But, set him. Oh, see, he won't stand without the stand. Uh -huh. He won't stand without the stand. Um, yeah, I apologize, guys. Uh, I'm using my phone. Uh, quick, quick uh, recording here. So uh, my fingers are probably all over the place. And yeah, it's probably really crazy. Um, I'm really trying hard to get this guy to focus. it's not going to um so that does okay uh but yeah the it hit, the detail on him is amazing um for a little figure uh he's really 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 detailed um yeah okay i'm gonna see if maybe now sorry my fingers again i just really want to see if we can't get 
a shot of the cards because that is really cool. It's just not going to do it. Well, that's the best I'm going to get. You can see the little winged Karibo. So that is really neat. Um, and you can kind of see the Dark Magician. Oh, there we go. See, yeah, the Dark Magician's visible. Um, but he's not as clear as the winged Karibo. And I think I might be able to make out Slifer in there. I'm not sure. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to get him standing and he's going to look great on my shelf. So I'm um, sorry for this very <laughs> unprofessional unboxing. Um, like I said, I'm using my phone because I'm in a hurry and I have to leave soon. So, uh, but yeah, um, he was normally I don't really do unboxing of figures, but he was just so unique. I just figured why not? Um, really quick, I want to take a look at his box. Um, so, the box is pretty cool. Um, if you like the Japanese collector stuff. Me, I'm a giant Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Um, I think I have almost every bit of Japanese paraphernalia known to man. <laughs> um, including this. Um, so, of course, I had to jump at the chance to get this. Um, I actually heard about him on myfigurecollection.net, otherwise I never would have heard about him at all. I found him on eBay, I paid about, with uh, the fast shipping, I paid like $40, which to most would sound really, really, really crazy for a little figure. Um, but, uh, I bought him for $18 initially, and I just got the EMS Express shipping, which he got here in like two days. So, um, oh, there we go. See, now my camera's focusing. Um, uh, the only other place I've been able to find him is on the Japanese Yahoo auction site. Um, you can go on to, um, an edition called Bai Yi, uh, and there is an Atem, or, uh, sorry, a Yami on there. Um, however, it's all in Japanese yen, so if you don't quite know what the exchange rate is, um, that's a bit of a problem. Also, Baiyi charges, um, fees. I know I got one figure, the total charge was $27. Uh, the bid price was basically $17, and that's what I got her for, and then after I paid, I think you pay, like, $5 to the warehouse for the shipping fee, and then you pay, like, a dollar for the seller, and then you pay the shipping, which um, it's usually EMS because it's from overseas, so it was about ten dollars. Um, so you know, I mean, you could probably, in a sense, get him off of Baiyi for the pretty much the exact same price I got him off eBay. Um, but that's only uh, I only suggest Baiyi because I he was the only one on eBay that I saw. And as far as I know, he's pretty rare, considering how if you want him, I think you have to buy the whole blind box set. Which, that is available on eBay. I have seen the blind box sets. They're like $30. Um, so, if you really, really want any of the other figures as well from this set, that's probably a good pickup. Um, but anyway, if you are a diehard Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, I highly, highly, highly suggest picking him up. Um... And really quick, I'm going to try to get him on his stand here so that we can see what the fuss is about. Okay, um, I did another jump cut uh, just so I could get him in his stand. Um, I'm actually going to put him with all of my other lovelies somewhere. Um, he kind of doesn't really fit anywhere with any of these guys. Oh well, I guess I'll put him next to... Oh, Tim. <laughs> he really doesn't fit in with all of them. Um, one thing about him, uh, you have to get his feet in first. If you try to put the little um, plastic thing in there and then try to stick him in, he will not go. He actually fits very awkwardly onto that stand. You can't really see, but only one of his feet are actually in the peg. Um, 
Which, I mean, you know, can't be perfect, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, he's not gonna stay there, because he looks really awkward next to all of the other ones. Um, I'm gonna find a spot for him. But, anyway, yeah, that is my review of the Yami Yugi, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! version of the J-Stars World figure collection. Um, and yeah, uh, sorry again for this, uh, very informal unboxing. I hope to do more that are not so informal and awkward, so, anyway, that's all. Thanks, guys!